Time to play with some clay. Well, I've decided on uh, doing a Crow Indian. And I had a model some years ago, back in 2007. I just wish I could remember this gentleman's name. He was from the Crow tribe. And uh, just a dynamic looking char uh, character in his demeanor. Uh, this is the way he wears his hair. Uh, he came to another shoot that we had on the Little Bighorn years, maybe a year ago, a year before, uh, I think 2006, um, he came from the oil fields where he works near Crow Agency in Montana, and uh, he had his hair like this. Um, I'm not sure he wears it like it every day, but I'm, every time I've seen him, he's had this hairstyle, and uh, it's typical uh, Crow hairstyle and I've made prints of both both sides of the head, the back of the head. I don't know if they'd have a scalp lock or not. Uh, she, he's not wearing one, but then again, he's not a warrior from the 1800s, so uh, I don't know. Anyway, I took it from the side and the top so I can see how the, wear, the hair is structured. And uh, it's going to have some nice braids coming down here. I like his face too. I put it on to another sculpture uh, of mine uh, some time back that now is in bronze. I've, I've uh, anyway, here's a picture of that piece. It's, call, it's called Distant War Cries, I think. I can't remember. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done it. Uh, so, anyway, um, I'll be trying this face and this. Uh, hairstyle. Now again, I'm not going to be showing you everything I do uh, because I've got DVDs out there, instructional DVDs on how to sculpt a human head and uh, I'm just not going to, you know, give you this for free, um, mainly because other people pay for it. had one of my lights uh, fail on me, so I'm using one light to work by. So if you notice the difference in the shadow, that's the reason. This face is turning out a lot better than the last one, so I'm happy. Whenever I get too enthused and too swift in what I do, I usually fail. This one, I'm just taking my bloody time. And I'm enjoying this. About a year ago, I was just starting to get my eyesight back. Still not perfect. I still have to use magnifiers. But, you know, it's like everything else in life. You learn to adapt. Nature adapts. 
humans adapt. take a break and go fix dinner get them late in the afternoon I have to start late in the afternoon because I have south facing windows next to me here and the sun just broils in here when there's sun out and today the sun's out and I'm not complaining because I like the sun but it's it's not my friend when it comes to sculpting or doing artwork Diffused light is much better. That's why artists like windows on the north side of a house or studio. I'll come back after I fix dinner. I'm happy with the face. It's a lot better than the one that I did before. Okay, I'm going to take uh, some Ronsonol. Spray a little bit in this ramekin, and uh, then I take a fan brush like this, so it's soft. going to be it for today. And, uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right. See you next time.